Do it again. Do it again. Hey guys, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. Anyway, uh, today is all about solace. And solace actually means to be alone in time of distress. So I, I thought that was like, oh my. So, like I said, I tell people about something and it's like, I thought we should like break that down. Like when you have to find... Uh, when you have to ground yourself, find solace. When you gotta sit down and shut the fuck up. So this is the problem. It's like um, that's what I thought we would go over today. Cause comfort or consolation in time of distress or sadness. And it's kind of sad, but it's like for real. When you not going the right thing, when you jealous or you narcissistic, all this different stuff. It's like um. It is a time of sadness because you are looking at something about somebody and you don't ever know what it really is so you don't know like it's like that is the point of what i've been trying to tell people i have not started my stream not at all y'all do it again i didn't start my what is it youtube because i don't want any i don't want any copyright issues today i don't feel like it i don't feel like waiting i have to upload two shows today so even though I'm late and I got time. Yeah, I got time today. I got time today. Y'all know why? Because I got kicked out of another shelter. So, that is the problem. It really didn't get kicked out. I just got found out. So, the other shelter closed down because of them going crazy. And so, that's the belief. It's because... One woman turned into a chupacabra. <laughs> Y'all, I don't do anything to people. And I'm not trying to be vindictive or judgmental. But she turned into a fucking gargoyle. Because this girl's t face turns into a gargoyle at the every time she thinks about the shit she was doing to me at that shelter. Like, she was actually abusing me. Like, they were actually abusing me. And her face started turning into a gargoyle. And they closed down the whole shelter. So I guess that's probably why God put out his shelter. Because they may not believe that in Catholicism that the Bible is actually about being royal. It has nothing to do with God. Like, it has nothing to do with Jesus. So the story of Abraham is the end of the Bible. The rest of the Bible is how Jesus committed all these sins. So everybody wants to look at him like, Jesus is this great person. Well, Jesus, Jesus made himself into a deity. That's against one of the Ten Commandments. So this is just, I'm just breaking down what's going on. So that's against one of the Ten Commandments. You cannot make yourself into a deity. So instead of us praying to God, we start praying to Jesus. Instead of us loving ourselves like we should be loving Jesus. Because you are Jesus. Like, in the end, you are Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I say write your story. Because your story is the Bible. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, it's in the end. If you are in the image of God, then you are. That's why it says, I am. Y'all get what I'm talking about? So it's like, that is it. It's just really about being a royal person. And it has everything to do with nature. That's where the fucking chupacabra comes from. And that's where the gargoyle comes from. Because these people's faces will actually show. It will show the hatred and the deceit and everything. And it is the funniest shit that I have ever seen in my fucking life. So that's it. So don't cross people. You need to start to do right by people. And that's what people are talking about. Like the customer service is going down. All this different stuff is going down. Because you chose to follow a woman that is a hell raiser. Like this bitch is a devil. And so I would tell my son, I was like, there are no demons. Like my son would be like, where's the devil? There is no devil. Like you are your own devil. You create your own demons. So it's like... When you are going through all this stuff, and if you jealous, and you start to look, I'm going to flip through somebody's page. I'm going to look at everything she buy. I'm going to buy what she buy. You're going to covet her man. As soon as I get a man, they come and take him. That's coveting with your neighbors. You see what I'm saying? That's coveting your neighbor's uh, property or whatever. It's like something that you don't need to do. You see what I'm saying? If that's hers, let her have it. Because what God has for you is for you. So some of this stuff people are telling you, you'll be looking at it like they don't make you understand it. So in church, when they're preaching that to you, you'll be like, okay, well, God didn't bring me none. So I want such and such man. And it's like, nope, you can't have such and such man. You got to have your own man. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it's like if somebody is covenant or you see somebody's husband and you're like, oh, he fine. That's a, that's 
relationship goals. That's why people tell you relationship goals is something that you shouldn't do because your relationship is for you. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is the proper way to teach y'all what this is about. So it's like when somebody is saying that to you, what God has for you is for you, that's what they mean. What God has for you is really for you. You see what I'm saying? And if you want it, you can have it. But you can't have your neighbor's husband, and you can't have your neighbor's wife. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? He could be fine, but it's like a feeling that you will get. Y'all get what I'm talking about where it's like, I can't touch him. It's like, do y'all ever get that feeling? I cannot have this man. When you get the feeling like where you can't have this man, don't go after the man. Don't go after the man. If you get this feeling where I can't have this woman, don't go after the woman. Nature will tell you. And so it's like y'all don't even listen to y'all bodies with nature. So what happens is you get that gargoyle on your face because it's showing. Your lust is showing. Y'all get what I'm saying? So that's why the seven deadly sins is important. Your sloth is showing. I'm going to try to kill this person so I can be lazy and live off their insurance for the rest of my life. I'm going to kill my brother because he don't got no kids and I get his insurance money. So you kill him and then you think you're going to be lazy, but now you get caught. Y'all get what I'm talking about? So you get caught, you go to jail. So it's like what's happening is or you don't get caught, but the guilt will still be on your face when you spend every fucking dollar. Because you because you killed him out of laziness. Y'all get what I'm talking about? It's like, that is the truth. Like, it's actually nature will actually show you who the fuck these people are. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So it's a demon that you create for yourself. And the guilt will help the demon come out. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it's nothing wrong with being guilty, but being guilty over the wrong shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm telling y'all. You don't have to feel guilty because you didn't pay somebody back or... Because most of the time we got good reason. But if you pay, didn't pay him back to cheat him or you lied to him like you was going to pay him back and you knew you wasn't. Y'all remember like, I tell y'all this story all the time how one of your cousins or one of your brothers and sisters hide all that candy and they're bad for all your candy. They're bad for all your fucking candy because you nice and you're going to share. Well, in this situation, as you get older, that's not what your brother or sister supposed to be doing. Y'all get what I'm talking about when you younger, that's cool. That's why all your sins are gone when you are younger. You see what I'm saying? When you turn 13 in the Jewish culture, when we turn 13, we learn our prayers. And then we, um, and then all of our sins are accounted for by us. So as you get older, when you're doing all these different stuff or whatever, it's like, as you get older, those are your sins because you start to feel guilt about them. Because before puberty, you can't remember none of the scenes. That's not on you. You see what I'm saying? And even the ones from 13 to 18 really not on you either. Because you're still going through shit that you can't even be. It be like your mind be going over every fucking thing you can. So even from nerd to nerd, it's like, okay, cool. When you turn a certain age, it's like, okay, now I'm at an age of understanding. It's like you start to feel guilt. It will start to hold you back. Anxiety, all this different stuff. And that is what's creating the demon inside of you. So it's like, I know it sounds crazy. I'm talking about, I'm such a fucking reality-based person. Did not believe until I saw this shit myself. When that man told me that shit, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm, dude, I'm seven. Like, you know, what the fuck you talking about? So it makes me see why I couldn't be on Sesame Street. It makes me see why I probably couldn't do TV. Because people were scared that they gargoyle would come out. Y'all get what I'm saying? They scared that chupacabra come out their fucking face. And y'all should have just been on TV because y'all some low-life motherfuckers. Y'all some low-life motherfuckers. But still, it's like, that's what it was. I think that's probably why they didn't want me on Sesame Street. So, that's it. Like, you know, some stuff is like coming apparent that I had to be safe, all this different stuff. But that's it. Like, I just, that's always what I always wanted was to be on Sesame Street. But even in my name, my writing, all that stuff, it'll come out. It still come out because of the guilt that they make it with. Because they know they're wrong. So yesterday, the same girl that stalked me on the train on Sunday was came by to stalk me uh, by the store, by the by where I work at. Now listen, y'all. Y'all know I mentioned that the IP address on your phone could show up where my phone is. And this bitch, can we, like, it's like, do you know that people have cameras? Like, it's like, how do you know that people have cameras? I'm talking about she all out there crossing the street, then she went back across the street, then she went around the corner. And I'm just sitting there looking at her. Like, what the fuck are you over here for? Y'all see what I'm saying? And it's always these white people, and they know they was racist, y'all. At SIUE, they were racist. They are the people who probably stole my work in the first place. They stole my name and my work. 
So it's like, why would you not think at SIUE I was good enough to be creative, but now you more creative than me, but you taking every fucking word that come out of my mouth. You you stalking me, you following me. So yesterday I was just looking at it, it's like, I need to call the police, but again, I can't call the police because they don't come and do nothing. Or the phone to go to her. I should have called to see if it could go to her because it's like somebody else is answering my calls. So it's just like, stay the fuck away from me. I'm not trying to do nothing for you. You see what I'm saying? Why you got to get the bag like me? You got to try to wear your clothes. Like It's just like, get the fuck on. You a white woman. I'm a black woman. It's the difference. You still can't be me. All the people they keep trying to keep me from, they know who I am. They know what I look like. So why the fuck is you keep trying to be me? And if they don't know, you in a room full of murderers. That's how it's, that's how that's going to roll. So anyway, today I want to talk about being in silence because I just thought that was like something that needed to be taken care of. Sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. You see what I'm saying? Stop following people. They don't want you following them. And it's like y'all do it so lackadaisically like it's some shit you need to do. Who the fuck taught you to follow people? Like what is it? That's a no-no. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to see you two days in a row, especially around where I work at. Not that I never told you where I work at. Y'all, on Sunday, I had on my long black skirt with a shirt. With a, with a, I look like a fucking nun dressed in black. Dressing all black like an woman. And it, I mean, it's like, how did you even know I was over here? I never mentioned my job or anything. She just over there walking back and forth. I'm just like, this bitch is following me. So, that's it. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm homeless for real. Like, I'm on the street. Last night, nobody wanted to give me anywhere to stay or anything. <clears throat> so, I'm actually just on the fucking street. Today, I went by somewhere, and they were like, okay, we'll see if we can get you in here. And that's it. I mean, for real, she haven't called about getting me in there yet either. So, today, let's see. The first thing is, scan your body for any tension you may be feeling. So, notice the position of your hands on the keyboard. Oh, God, this is, like, about this keyboard. How faith, how tension. Oh, okay, y'all. Make sure you sit up with your back straight and stuff at the keyboard. I can't do that. I'll put that on there, though. It's by Sketches and Stillness. Spring activ activities to try. Y'all, you have to do all this stuff. This is not something where I'm saying don't do it, because this is another list I like. It is another one I like. I'm so sorry, but this is the stuff that you need to be doing for spring get the family photos and start to make a Christmas and Thanksgiving from last year 2021 book and you can do this on like photo collage you can do it through Google and order the book you can do it through, through Canva you see what I'm saying it's so many like coupons out there to have like a picture book I have done this for Blake many of times many of times Next, plant flowers. It's that time. Get it done. And you can plant some of your vegetables and all that stuff. I think strawberries, all that stuff. You can start tomatoes, all that stuff. You can start now. Start a journal. If you haven't started, you can still start. Start a journal. I checked on my pen zoo today. I was like, hell yeah. Hi, yeah. They've been stalking my pen zoo. Y'all know that. So cook with fresh veggies. Um, if you have already started growing all your stuff, so you got some stuff coming in, like you got your basil. Um, you got your cilantro, you got your mint. The mint is like just growing quick, y'all. I'm talking about mint. Oh, if you can get yourself to a watermelon, if you can get a watermelon, then go ahead and make you a watermelon mint smoothie or whatever. You see what I'm saying? That stuff is so fucking good. It's good. It's delicious. Buy with the seeds, take the seeds out. It's better for you. Make a bird and plant the seeds. Make a bird feeder. You can do this with like cartons, like those milk cartons and stuff. You can do it with a jug, uh, with a milk jug. You can do this with any kind of recycled stuff. You can even make a um, a hummingbird feeder. You see what I'm saying? Get ready for them. Be a pollinator. Become a pollinator. Uh, take a nature walk. That's good for you. Go on a bike ride. All this stuff is good for you. Okay, so this is when we get to this point. The benefits of silence. The benefits of spending time by yourself. You can clear your mind. So if you in solace, make sure you sit somewhere and clear your mind. And I'm not saying this to be rude. This is for the people who actually need it. Who, when people are putting you through distress and sadness, this is for you, okay? So you can clear your mind. Just sit somewhere and clear it. 
Um, if you put this up out of your sadness and distress, kill yourself. That's all I have to say to you. By yourself. Go to hell by yourself. Um, next, do what you want. That's why I've been telling people, too, when I'm talking to them, they'll be thinking I'm about to say, no, you have to take this prescription of five cups of water a day, skip down the road five times, turn around, twist your hair, and twiddle your fingers. And it's like, no, bitch, do what you gonna do. Do everything that you want to do. You know, when I met this girl, she was like, the texture of food is like some, I said, you know what, eat the sun. She said, well, she don't like all the fruits and vegetables. Well, eat what's good for you, but make sure it's from the sun. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to tell people, this is your prescription for life because it's not it is not it is not this will actually um trying not to follow a prescription that somebody's giving to you for life will actually loosen you up it'll make you more comfortable so let me tell y'all my big booty joke for today so Jalen was at work he's like trying to give out me he's like excuse me Shantae now that's the proper way to say excuse me there was also a man at Schnooks he was like excuse me he was getting the cart Y'all know what I'm saying? So I'm telling Jalen, no, Jalen, tell me, Shantae, I can barely get by. Because I like to feel like my booty big. <laughs> it was like, I cannot tell you that. I'm not supposed to say that. Like, okay, I know. Oh, God, yes. And then it's like this woman, she like, oh, we got one cook there. He is handsome, y'all. Okay, everybody. Every man there is handsome. I'm not joking. Any man bring you out your food where I work at is handsome. So it's just like, are you kidding me? So this woman sitting there today, she got a bird. And a black man bringing her some food is like, this is a day in heaven. If they had a bakery, the shit would be over. I'm talking about, I would put my feet up, and that's it, I'm done. That's done. A bird, a bakery, and a black man. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Okay, next, recharge yourself. That means taking a nap, resting, taking time for yourself. Be more productive. You know, um, do you. That's what, that's what I mean. And um, I'm talking about somebody to check out for all these, like, productivity things that she in. I got, like, these clear post-it notes. It's like I'm in fucking hog heaven. Y'all, I done lost them. I can't find them. All I be thinking is I'm going to write my number on this clear post-it note. Can't find a post-it note nowhere. And I got, like, all these cards I designed, too. I could just get them a card. But, no, I want to write them on a clear post-it note. Y'all, I made my um, my first invitations to my art show on a um, a scan sheet so you could see through it on the transparency. It was dope. That shit was dope. Um, get in touch with your creativity. You see what I'm saying? Because that helps you focus on something. It helps you um, put your energy into something else. I saw online it was like a person that had like a ball, like a jealousy. It was like all her feelings, anger. And so she would take the taking and scribbled it in her and so she at the bottom she had like a legend that said like or a key that said like okay what this was you know so it's like that's good for you to get that out too enjoy your own company it's like how do you enjoy your company like i am like into myself for real like what did i eat today like was it good i like good food i like good juice i like all this different stuff so it's like take that time and just help yourself just love yourself so anyway that's it y'all and shantae brown sugar talk under black unicorns telling y'all to have a good day and that's it today is just a good day it is a good day investigate something i got so excited today about investigation but one of the uh, apprentices went down and work i'm glad i did my show late one of the apprentices went down and work and so the guy he started investigating it's like oh my god you're investigating to fix it and i'm talking about y'all this is like my real reaction Sometimes I was like, could you please, God, please, God, do not make me like this. Don't make me, God, don't make me excited over this stuff. I be like so excited. I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, it is like the cutest shit. He is investigating to fix it. Guess what it was? It's because I did not think of this myself. I did not think to check the other printer on the other machine. It's like, are you for real? So it's like, it's like another answer to the question. So then he checked the machine and the motherfucker was off. Like, after we checked everything on the machine, this happened every time I call in somewhere. And I'll be like, and the lady was like, did you turn it on? And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I did not push the power button. I was talking about, I'm on the phone. Y'all, we on the phone for like 20, 30 minutes. The lady said, did you push the power button? <laughs> I mean, if you ever had that 
situation, you like really appreciate of investigation. So make sure you investigate everything before you think that something is wrong. And you got that city, Shantae Brown, she's talking to Black Unicorns, telling you thank you and I love you and have a great day. Bye.